let's explore some uh, new functionality via the checkout webhook. The first one is we can create invoicing with pay by link. We'll create an invoice directly in NetSuite against the existing customer record, update location, select the desired item, We can review any billing details, and since this is an invoice, we will not have to identify the payment card. Instead, what we're going to do is save this transaction, we next can go to the custom tab and expose the custom URL for pay by link. After opening this link, we'll see a hosted checkout page where an end user customer could complete their payment transaction. Notice it's coded based on the customer email. We'll enter in the required payment details, review and accept terms and conditions, and select pay. Following a successful payment, we'll get redirected to a hosted successful page checkout, where we can confirm the details. We can then go back to the Checkout Hub, refresh the instance, and confirm success of the capture via Pay by Link. Finally, we'll go back to NetSuite, refresh the transaction, and we can see the status has changed from Pending Payment to Paid in Full. Under Related Records, we can see the corresponding customer payment Notice the status is not deposited. It's been put into undeposited funds with payment record 266. This is again coded for undeposited funds. We can review any payment events and finally the GL impact. Given this is undeposited, we'll first have to make the deposit in NetSuite following the, the match bank data process. We go to Bank, Match, Bank Data, and in this case, actually, Customer Deposits. We filter by the desired checking account. We can see our desired customer payment record of 266 and select Save. Notice this has now changed from a customer payment to an overall deposit transaction in NetSuite. We can confirm this has now been coded to the Checking-US account as a deposit where we can go to bank, match bank data, and complete our bank reconciliation process. Let's filter by the desired account, filter by today, and again we notice deposit number 19, $50, and we can complete our bank reconciliation process.